Here is your grid for the 35th annual Amico Knoxville Nationals. Mark Kinzer in the working entry alongside of Danny the Dude Lasoski in the Cornwell Tools number 77. Slamming Sammy Swindell in the Hooters car and Johnny Herrera in Guy Forbrick's number 5. Terry McCarl, a legendary name in this area and one of the best in Northern California, the Hurricane, Randy Hannigan. Andy Hillenberg out of Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, and a former World of Outlaws national champion, Bobby Davis Jr. from Memphis, Tennessee. Joey Saldana. His father was one of the best in sprint car racing, and Joey's trying to live up to it. And Stevie Smith, the Modern Brothers number 71M, the Eco Water backed entry, is in row five. Steve Smith Sr., Stevie's dad, one row back. And Steve Feitler, the Speedway Motors entry out of Centro Woolley, Washington. You gotta like him, Dick. There are so many people to like in this event. Tra Craig Delansky runs here often. Steve Kinzer, 11-time winner. They'll be in row seven. Skip Jackson, a two-time Australian national champion, is in row eight, along with Dale Blaney, who at one time was drafted by the Los Angeles Lakers. Jerry Richard Jr., his dad won in 62. He'd like to win it. And Ed Lynch Jr. comes from Pennsylvania. Frankie Carr in 23S and Lee Brewer, 15C, two of the best veterans from both different sides of the country. Dave Blaney and Jeff Swindell, they've worked their way out of the B. How far can they get in the A? And in row 12, there you see him. The wild child on the inside and Keith Kaufman on the outside. If you don't like that main event, change the channel. If you're a diehard sprint car fan, don't go away. The Knoxville Nationals Live is next. 24 have made their way, Dick Bergeron, through 169 sprint cars. And every heart in this place, Ralph Shaheen, is absolutely pounding away. Look, Jeff Swindell all the way in the back. He's run so well here. Bobby Davis is the number four, 1983 World of Outlaw champion. Number five is Mark Kinzer. He starts on the pole. This is the parade by the fans. It's only been won one time this race, only one time from that far back. And that was all the way back in 1962. Well, if you're watching on TNN, I'm sure your adrenaline's pumping like ours. The 35th Amico Knoxville Nationals is live! Sammy Swindell put his left front wheel right through the infield. Kinzer's got the lead. Mark Kinzer puts the working entry into the front spot and Lasowski follows him. Sammy in trouble on the back stretch. You see Andy Hillenberg inside but there's your problem. Guy Forbrick's car, that's Johnny Herrera and Craig Delansky with big problems. There's two other cars involved out there. Watch it about the back of the pack. Well, right up front, Sammy Swindell's already had a problem. He got into the fence hard. You can see his car, that's the orange car, turning round and round. And he is kind of a, oh, wow. Look at Delansky going side over side in that number 55 automobile. That's Herrera in the middle. They both hit that car. Here you see, look at Kinzer up on the top, on the inside, as we watch Dolansky go flying. What a ride he took. Look at the tire coming off, and it goes right over Steve Kinzer. The A-Main, still to go when we come back. Here we go again. The Knoxville Nationals are live on TNN. Nice start for Mark Kinzer, and that white number five on the lead. You saw the green car coming to the front. Here comes Sammy to second place. He's inside of Lasowski. And Steve Kinzer on the bottom side of Bobby Davis Jr. Gives him the slide job and gets up in the cushion. Now he goes to work on Andy Hillenberg. Kinzer in that green number 11 is working his way through traffic. A 10-time winner here at Knoxville in the Nationals. He's already up to sixth place as he battles with Hillenburg. That's Randy Hannigan in the 1X and Terry McCarl in the white car. On board now with Andy Hillenburg. Look at him work that steering wheel. Running down low, putting the left front tire in the berm. Kinzer, meanwhile, on the outside of Hillenburg. Look at this, you're seeing it side by side, live as it happens. Randy Hannigan gets 
Hillenburg to the inside, and he's got the King up in the cushion. Steve now drops to the bottom of turns one and two. He said it was a rough racetrack. I don't think the King likes what he sees here at Knoxville tonight. That's off the backside of Hillenburg's car, I believe. Everybody's watching that green car Steve Kinzer is driving. That's the same car he won Eldora with last week. $100,000 win there. Same engine in the car tonight. Kinzer battling with the Hurricane for fifth position. Randy Hannigan probably going to lock up the Rookie of the Year honors. There's your leader back up front. Mark Kinzer in the working entry. Caution. Caution on the speedway. Apparently somebody lost a muffler is what we're getting now. Missed out the field. Mark Kinzer remains in charge. Here we go. The orange cone's in place. Mark Kinzer's on the throttle, ready to push it down and hammer it out. We're green. Look at Steve go to the high side in that green number 11 car. Steve Kinzer way upstairs. You're on board with Danny the Dude Lasoski as he works slamming Sammy Swindell through turns one and two. And Kinzer's up to second. The Kin King is in second place. Wow, he just did away with Sammy Swindell running the high side. Now he sets sail after his cousin. And don't think there's not a lot of pressure on these two right now. Mark Kinzer working with his father, who has 11 Knoxville wins as a tuner. Steve back in it on his own. He's got Scott working with him as his crew chief now, searching for his number 11th victory on his own. Oh boy, that makes Thanksgiving dinner real interesting in the Kinzer clan this coming November. Well, I don't think they're going to be having Thanksgiving dinner together at all because Steve Kinzer and his former car owner, Carl Kinzer, are not even speaking at all. Carl Kinzer wants to win this race with his son. It would be the third different driver with whom he has won the Knoxville Nationals. He won it with Dick Gaines back in 1974. The other 10 with Steve Kinzer. Right now, Carl Kinzer's car is leading Steve Kinzer. It's Mark, Mark Kinzer in the lead. Mark is having a tremendous run. He's running down around the bottom side, sticking close to the bottom, and Steve is closing it up on the high groove. There you look at Blaney and Hillenburg going at it. That's back in fourth. Now what a job Hillenburg has done coming back after that big crash. Blaney started at the tail end of this field and worked his way up toward the front. That's from inside Andy Hillenburg's car. And here's the wild child. He's working the backside of Terry McCarl. He's ninth. Odd shield all the way up to ninth. Terry McCarl in the 24. A local favorite here. Runs Knoxville Speedway every Saturday night. Bobby Davis Jr. just in front of them in the red number four and then Hillenburg. Look at McCarl in the bottom of the wild child upstairs. Traffic, a big problem now for the leaders. Dave Blaney is up to fifth. Remember, he started 22nd. And Steve works that high groove, and that fence line is getting closer. Every time he goes into the corner stick, he's pushing more and more of that cushion away. And there's not much cushion left to push away either. It's interesting that Mark Kinzer has stayed at the bottom all the way through this race. Steve has stayed on top all the way through this race. Closing in on the halfway mark, working lap number 12. Oh, they got awful close there. Steve just got up a little bit too high and lost a little bit of ground on Mark. Ed Lynch Jr. goes down a lap now as Mark Kinzer works that working car through. There's Steve Kinzer's crew chief. Scott Gerken, the shorter of the two men. Steve Kinzer in that green number 11 running high. The white car just went out of your screen. Mark Kinzer, the black two is Ed Lynch. He's down a lap, he's not in this thing. It's Mark Kinzer, Steve Kinzer, Sammy Swindell, Danny Lasoski, Dave Blaney, Jeff Swindell, Andy Hillenberg, Jack Hottenshield, Bobby Davis and Terry McCarl, your top ten. The master working his way around this Knoxville half mile. There's a look at that Maxim chassis of Mark Kinzer's working perfectly. 
We are halfway as Mark Kinzer goes to work on Johnny Herrera trying to get through lap traffic. That could hang him up because you see Steve is on the charge. What a neat race. Danny Lasoski now drops back to six as Dave Laney and Jeff Swindell move up and you look at the speed shot. Now Carl Kinzer had made some changes to some bars yesterday that really worked and here comes Steve Kinzer. He's got him. He's got him, or has he got him? Whoa! Watched wheels right there. And Mark Kinzer is not about to bow down to his cousin, the King, just yet. Look at this, all over each other. For $100,000, Mark Kinzer on the bottom, Steve Kinzer up top. Lap after lap, they're going at it. The Kinzer clan is going to war at Knoxville, and you're seeing it all live on TNN. And Steve's got him. Steve Kinzer has got him. Can he hang on, or did he choose too soft of a compound tire? Well, Steve is checking out, I'll tell you what, and Mark Kinzer behind him has just decided he's going to try that high line, see if he can catch Steve. If he can, it'll be something of a miracle. Once Steve Kinzer gets out front at Knoxville, he is so tough. Dave Blaney is up to third, and Jeff Swindell is right with him. They both came out of the B. They're running third and fourth after starting 21st and 22nd. Incredible. And that cushion, Dick, is about a half a foot off the fence line. Oh, it's gone. Make any mistake at all. The right rear tire is in that fence. The right rear tire would be history if you hit that fence at these kinds of speeds. They're running wide open. Nobody's backing off the throttle at all for anything here at Knoxville. Steve Kinzer is running about 150 miles an hour wide open, never lifting here. And he is about a half a foot off of that fence line. Awesome control. Now they go to work on Keith Kaufman who is a lap down, or soon to be a lap down. Look at that, as they exit off of turn two in front of the museum, he is right at the fence line. And there is a ridge right there. Whoa, that was close, 10 to go. There is a ridge right there as you come off the turns, it actually squares off. So you've got to pull it back into a void, that fence. And here's that battle for third. Dave Blaney and the vibrant back Casey Luna entry, working the cushion. Jeff Swindell, the Gold Eagle car, right in the center of the racetrack, trying to time it off the turn. Ford versus Chevrolet, the number 10 is a Ford-powered car. Swindell in that black number 7, that's a Chevrolet-powered car. Steve Kinzer in the lead is another Chevrolet. They've got to be getting tired too, Dick. Those two have already put in 22 laps during the B main. This is a very physically demanding racetrack. The race is short as such but they are just literally throwing those cars around. Steve Kinzer now running the bottom, coming off the fourth corner. He won the historical big one last week, and now Steve Kinzer, as you go on board with Andy Hillenberg, is closing in on his 11th Knoxville Nationals title and his second $100,000 payday in two weeks. Jeff Swindell has passed Dave Blaney for third place. And he is closing on Mark Kinzer, who just went out of your screen on the right, who's running in second spot. Second, third, fourth, all right together. That changes quickly with five to go now as Blaney retakes the lead, or the third position, I should say. There's second, Mark Kinzer in the white car. On the left of your screen, Blaney is right behind him. Blaney in the number 10, looking on the high side. Mark Kinzer trying to protect the second spot. Both running high. Jeff Swindell in the black, number seven on the low side. Three cars contesting second place as we get down to just a handful of laps in the 35th annual Amico Knoxville National. And this is just what Steve Kinzer needed with all these guys racing with each other. All he has to do is race the track and check out. Mark had run the bottom of the groove. Now he slides up to the fence line. That opens the bottom side for Jeff Swindell. He takes second place. Meanwhile, up front with two to go, smooth sailing for the Quaker State car and Steve Kinzer. Terry McCarl just in front of him. Frankie Kerr goes a lap down to the 23. And you see Stevie Smith, the yellow wings of the Eco Water car. Watching the best sprint car racers in the world, many of whom will tell you that the man who is in the lead right now is the best there has ever been. One lap to go for Steve Kinzer. How could you possibly argue that fact? Steve Kinzer, 
the king of the kings when it comes to dirt track racing is about to make $200,000 in eight days. For the 11th time, Steve Kinzer is the king of Knoxville. Jeff Swindell grabs second spot. Mark Kinzer comes home third, Dave Blaney is fourth, the dude gets fifth, but Steve Kinzer reigns again at Knoxville. When we come back, we'll talk to him. Stay with us, you saw it live on TNF. You know what, I don't care Steve Kinzer's not a Winston Cup racing. I'm glad to have him back in sprint car racing because that was awesome and I'm glad I got to see the king at Knoxville, Steve Evans. I agree with you. I think God meant for this man to race on dirt. $200,000 in two weeks, but this one was special. Well, I tell you, I didn't think we'd have a chance starting back there we did, but I got on the top, run around there good, the bottom was good. I don't know, I'm just glad we won it. Everybody did a good job. You covered about every square inch of this racetrack at one point or another. Yeah, I was on the wall. I was I was everywhere. I ran the all the way down the front stretch wall one time, but uh, the car was working good. We just Mark had a good pace and he had the line on me. I just I knew I could work different places. We ever got the lap cars and it all worked out well. And I tell you, Scott and Sean did a good job. It's a good race team and we're glad to win this one, especially back to back two in a row. We're looking at the pass for the lead right now. Tell us about it. Well, you know, I really don't know. I was working the top, and there just wasn't nothing out there coming off the tube at the wall, but Mark got pinned into some cars on the bottom, and I got by him, and then I went back down under him and blocked the bottom off there because I was a little slow on the top there, but uh, everything worked out good. Any chance the Kinzer family can get together for Thanksgiving? <laughs> I, I don't know about that. <laughs> I think you were right, Ralph. Well, there he is, right at home where he should be. Steve Kinzer, he was number one. Here's a look at the full field rundown the 35th annual Amico Knoxville Nationals. Steve Kinzer, of course, was number one, and right behind him, a hard-charging Jeff Swindell, who finished in second place. Mark Kinzer comes home third. Blaney Lasoski slips back to fifth. Don't want to be frustrated about that. Sammy Swindell, he's got sixth. Andy Hillenberg, Bobby Davidson, Stevie Smith round out the top ten. Terry McCarl was 11th, Frankie Kerr 12th, Dale Blaney 13th, Johnny Herrera finished 14th, Keith Kaufman, nice job in 15th. Back through there, you got Jerry Richard Jr., Randy Hannigan, Steve Beitler, Ed Lynch, and Steve Smith. Back of the pack, Joey Saldana, Skip Jackson, Craig Delansky, who took that wild flip, and Lee Brewer, who was also involved in the accident. Jack Honshield passed 40 cars total tonight as he worked his way up in the sea. Way to go, Hod. Hey, guess what? Next year, we're coming back to bring you the 36th annual Amico Knoxville Nationals live on TNN for Dick Bergeron, Steve Evans, Bob Gerald, and the tremendous crew who brought this all to you tonight. All our camera guys and people down in the truck, they've been here all week, loving every minute of it, getting dirt all over our microphones. I'm Ralph Shaheen. We'll see Steve Kinzer back here live again. See you next year.